everyone, welcome in. Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with the Saturday vloggy thing. That's right, I am not participating in Vlogmas this year um, because Crochet Tober about knocked me out. I loved it, but it's very stressful for someone to work, you know, 40 to 60 hours a week and manage to get videos up at the same time. Yeah, I'm just. I don't have that much energy, but <laughs> I do welcome you to visit me on my Saturday vloggy things and all the other little bits and bobs that are going on as well. Speaking of bits and bobs, there is a section in my description box down below called Other Bits and Bobs, and it tells you about different playlists that I have and other things that I'm interested in, um, Links to the vid link to the video that introduces my sweet kitty Oscar who was out there howling a minute ago. I've got the door closed right now. Um, but yeah, as far as life goes, well, this week was busy. I did do a lot of overtime, which is a good thing. You should knew here. Overtime is definitely a good thing for me because I'm an hourly worker. And when you work overtime, you get paid that hourly wage, that time and a half. So it's what I do. I'm like, overtime? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm actually on a break, a lunch break from my Saturday overtime to record this. Just saying. But I did have a day off in the middle of the week this week because as we get towards the end of the year, if you have any random days off that you have not taken, vacation, holiday, day, pay days, and anything like that, you can't carry them over. So it's use it or lose it. They're like, schedule it, get it in there. Well, we'll be available. Well, it's a random Thursday. So I was off on this random Thursday. So what did I do? If you watched my haul video, you know what part of what I did. In the thumbnail, I showed some of the yarn that I got because right now I have it in a laundry basket because, yeah, I went to Ollie's. There is an Ollie's yarn haul. I will try to remember to link it above. And uh, if not, I will have my playlist of yarn hauls and stuff link down below as well. There, there, somewhere you will see a link to that. But also that day I got my uh, booster. I don't even think you can see the little mark anymore. Got my booster, so I've had three jabs. This girl is on Pfizer. Sorry, I have to. Every time I think about it, I have to say it because I do have the Pfizer and I'm, I'm boosted up as much as I can be right now. So until they come out with another one or say we got a boost again, I'm there, y'all. I'm all about being vaccinated. But also, on that day, um, I thought I would have to wait. Because sometimes, you know, you get there, you got an appointment, you got to wait, and blah, blah, blah. So I brought a project with me. I brought this little bag. And I had a skein of this yarn. Deborah Norville Everyday Anti-Pilling. Uh, 165 meters, 100 grams. It's a four weight, so it takes a five millimeter hook. That's not what I use, and I'll tell you in a second. The color on this is Lagoon. This is what's left of it. That's it. There was some yarn chicken going on here, y'all, but I made this. I, I had to have another Divine hat. I've got one in pink. I've got one in a really nice, beautiful green and, and purple and blue. And uh, I decided to use a skein of this yarn in it. This yarn, I actually got it from um, Miss Judy. Crochet every day with Judy. I won a prize from her and there were two balls of this. So I still have one left. I can make another hat out of it. At least I think, yeah, I do. Right here. And I might make another one and make it for donation because it perfectly makes a divine hat. Love it. I love this pattern. And it's easy enough for me to follow. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and there's also a million, you know, um, tutorials out there. But I printed the free pattern but all I do is, I just follow this. You can see check bar, because if I'm sitting in my chair at home, I check what row I'm on. It's that easy once you get started. Some people say, oh gosh, I've tried it. And once I got over the fact that I'm putting stitches in a space and not in a stitch, and when you read the pattern, you'll understand. I was like, brilliant. I will make these all day long. Love them. Absolutely love them. So yes, that is a finished object for this week. That is my only actual finished object, is, and I'm wearing it. <laughs> but I do have this. I've got my Ella bag, and I do have some progress on what's in here. Um, 
What's in this bag is a kit, or well, part of a kit. The handles aren't in there. They're over there someplace. Um, to make this bag. Okay, it is the Granny Square 24-7 Crochet Bag by Lion Brand. It's made out of mercerized cotton. I won this kit. It was in celebration of National Hispanic Heritage Month. I won it on um, Instagram. So I am making this. And I have, I think I have all of my squares done now. Maybe. I've got some yarn. Oh, no, I'm not done with this square. <laughs> I think I have one round to go on this square. That is my eighth square, which is all you need for it, plus the other stuff to join it together. But I've got my squares done. All of my ends are weaved in on this. All of them. Because I have been trying so hard to weave my ends in as I go and I don't mean crochet them under because I I fumble with that a lot so I just get out the yarn needle and and weave them in okay but I try to do it after every square so that I don't have a boatload of them at the end and I go no yeah because that does happen sometimes but yeah I have to put it together try to follow the directions if I can <laughs> working from patterns is not my strong suit so that is in here, but I have all the squares done and I have to take some time when I have a few minutes to sit down and just, okay, I'm going to lay this out. I'm going to do what it says because that is where I struggle with things. Let's put that over there. What else have I been working on? It's staring at me right down here. Let me pick up the bag. Okay. I have been working on uh, the Lisa Ladybird Loves Pick and Mix Cow link up there wherever it goes and also down below there's a link to that playlist um I did finish it on the same day now I had to watch I didn't get to watch the live this week there's a 30 minute live every week to use the spinny wheelie thingy to decide which color you're going to be using out of your chosen colors and which stitch you're going to be using out of every random stitch on the planet I think it's like well I have learned some new stitches on this blanket and that's what the fun is of this one this one, the only ends that are not weaved in are the ones that I just did because I came home Thursday, um, worked on this hat a little bit more, watched the replay of the live, got my colors, did the stitches, and did my main color afterwards. I had this done before I went to bed Thursday night. Yes, I am patting myself on the back because... Usually it's a struggle for me to finish things, but this week's stitch for me turned out to be pretty easy. It was back post. And what you could do was, as long as you ended up with back posts, you could choose to make any pattern of back post you decided you wanted to do. So what I did was like every third stitch is a back post. And on the back, every third stitch coming back is also a back post. And they don't line up exactly, but they do make a nice pattern. And it looks kind of waffly. It does look kind of like the waffle stitch that way. But it worked up really quickly because I use double crochet back post. I find those easier than half double back post or single, because there's just more to work with. It's less, uh, as Kate from Bitch and Stitches says, less wrist gymnastics. So, yes, that is a thing. I did not get my ends weaved in that night. It was a little after midnight and the hubby's like, don't you have to work in the morning? Yes, but I am finishing this row. I am finishing it. So yeah, I, I finished the row. <laughs> oh, and by the way, my quote main color is uh, Red Heart Latte Stripes. And so that's why you have the stripiness there. This one, you know, I should have gotten out the things. I have my little handy dandy card. I'm actually trying to be really organized with this. On this side, I have my numbers of the colors and this is my main over here. Plus I have each week written down what number was chosen and what stitch. And this week was week nine. It was color one, which is this one, which is for me, big twist value mustard. The big twist, that's a Joanne uh, brand. It, it's their its their store brand. And the stitch was back post. So yeah, I've had my handy dandy card. I keep my hook for this project in here because I have learned for myself 
that if I don't keep the hook with the project, I'm going to grab the wrong hook when I go to do something else. It's a problem. Yeah. So that is done for this week. And I also realized I did not go out and buy special yarn to do this. I chose my colors. I went into my stash and chose my colors, which is why I have all these really nice warm colors. And I'm going to use this as a throw on my big recliner, kind of like this. Although if it's too big for the recliner, um, it may end up on the couch. But it's just a nice, colorful, warm color throw it's going to be with all these really cool stitches in it. But I'm going to have a bunch of yarn left over. I didn't know how much this would take. And it looks like I'm going to have plenty left over. So I might take some of those stitches and work them into a throw pillow um, to have that, that kind of matches that out there. And, you know, kind of alternate them in the, the same color orders, which will be kind of fun. So that is something for the future, but not something for the right now. The other project, oh wait, I did have another weird little finished object. <laughs> this is not a pattern. This is for somebody with really big hair because I was just crocheting. This is a using a thick and quick yarn with just some thick and quick on the top there. It is a double crochet and half double crochet hat. If you got a lot of hair to stick up in there, it's going to be very, very warm. I was playing one day. I needed to keep my hands busy because I was having a moment. And this is what came out of my hands. Lots of back post work there, or front post rather, a lot of front post. Not so much on the back post because I didn't mind it just being one-sided on everything. So that also got done. If you'll notice, my anniversary cake is not sitting there right now. What? I have it in my Lisa Ladybird bag. Oh gosh. It fits in there. You ain't gonna fit much else in there. It's a big bag, but that's also a really big cake. Um, but yeah, I've got the cake in grape. I won it from Garden State Gardener. Um, and if you saw my merch mail recently, I have not put this in the wash so I can wear it yet. I never wear a fresh t-shirt. I work in t-shirt factories. No. Yeah. So that there, I want it from him on one of his Sunday lives and I'll have him linked there and down there too. Um, but I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this cake. It's a lot of yardage. It is, they're calling it a six, could be a six, but it's more like a heavier five, not so much a six. And the purple yarnivore is doing a make along out of a book. Oh, where did the, the book is over there. Um, and, and the one that she's doing this month calls for a five weight. I don't, I do not have enough of a five weight of anything in my entire stash to make that. But if I counted this as a five, I could do it because there's enough yardage there. It's a blanket wrap. So I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the pattern and see if it's something that I can tackle <laughs> without a tutorial. I'm really not good at just reading patterns. I've also printed off, bought and printed off uh, one of on the hook uh, crochet Jean, one of her latest patterns, a Spanish dancer. It is a beautiful sweater. I love it. I love the details on it. And I want to make that I've made her sweaters before. So she is easy to follow because she doesn't write her patterns like a normal like, you know, 2SC, blah, blah. No, it's written out like it's a friend telling you what to do. And it's not, you know, count 150 stitches to get around your large butt. No. You measure yourself and you crochet to that point. And if it has to be a multiple of three or whatever they tell you, just make sure it's a multiple of three by the time you get there. Really, she's... Yeah, her patterns are written. They're written for people like me, okay? I ain't good about following the stuff, but she makes some beautiful stuff. Um, coming up, whew, there's going to be another book look coming up. There's some uh, Time for Tea with Deborah. That's something new that I'm trying to do. And that'll be a uh, link there, but it, it's on um, Monday mornings is when that comes out. Book look is on Sundays. 
and everything else just kind of as it happens except for the saturday vloggy thing i do have to do some more tutorials i have some more rattling around in my head i just haven't had time to sit record and do the thing always time how come when you're a kid christmas never seems to get here it seems to take like millennium to get through a school year to get through a year to get through anything but you start getting to be my age and there's just not enough time. I guess part of that is probably because the rel the time relative to the amount of time you've been alive is different. You know, when you're eight years old, waiting a year for something, that's an eighth of your life. When you're 51, an eighth of your life is way longer than that. So I guess that's it. That's me being a little, uh, a little philosophical today, I guess. A little deep up inside my uh, gorgeous hat. I love my hat. I'm so glad that I learned how to make these because, and I, I also want to make myself another uh, crocheted version of the Bush Tracker beanie. Um, I've got some purple yarn that I want to do it in. That is going to happen. I never used to wear hats. I've got to move to a cold climate so I can wear hats all the time. Yeah, that's got to happen. We'll see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Do not hold your breath for that. Um, thank you guys for coming by. Always a good time. I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider doing that. It would be awesome to have you around here all the time. If you are subscribed, thank you for coming back and watching again. I would love it if you hit that like button on the way out. Leave me a comment because I do love to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon at some point. Oh, and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the shenanigans. Because shenanigans. Yeah. See y'all.